So at this time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce uh, the moderator for the panel. And we have some uh, gentlemen here that we're going to introduce in just a moment. But I'm going to introduce the moderator, where you are. If you please stand up, I'll just say a little bit about you. This is Bruce Dumont. Great. Bruce is a 42-year veteran of Chicago broadcasting. He introduced live satellite media interviews in 1967 in ABC7 and launched Extension 720 on WGN Radio in 1968 and in 1984 launched WTDW's Chicago Tonight. Innovation is in his genes. He is the nephew of television pioneer Alan B. DeMont, the man who developed the cathode, cathode ray tube and founded America's first TV network. He's the founder and president and CEO of the Museum of Broadcast Communications, which began in 1982 with 250 bucks. <laughs> He's now America's only radio TV museum. Its brand includes museum.tv, the Encyclopedia of Television, the Encyclopedia of Radio, and the National Radio Hall of Fame. And he's also the host of Beyond the Beltway, a nationally syndicated radio program heard on WLS Chicago and in 45 other markets from coast to coast and XM Satellite Radio every Sunday night. Let's welcome Bruce. you <laughs> take it away. I'm now going to ask the rest of our panel to come on up to a round of applause, and then I'm going to oh. introduce them one by one. Our first uh, person I'd like to introduce is the Associate Managing Editor for Innovation at the Chicago Tribune. He is, where he is, has the mandate to guide the Tribune's newsroom through the new media world. Before that, he was the sports editor at the Tribune and the Sun-Times in his spare time in the Chicago area. He's a, a graduate of a Northwestern a University, uh, and he, up to, he does his updates for Twitter, Facebook, and Dig Pages. Please welcome Bill Addy. Our next guest is the managing editor of Crane Chicago Business. And he, that's the number two position in the editorial department. He is charged with leading the newsroom's digital transformation and supervising Crane's multimedia efforts. He was named managing editor in August of 2005. For two years, he supervised the paper's news department, managing 12 reporters, plus a staff of designers and photographers. He joined Crane's in September of 2004 as assistant managing editor in charge of the focus section. He is from a native of Kansas. Uh, please welcome uh, Brandon Copper. Our next guest is the president of digital media for Intersports and CelebTV.com. He is responsible for the growth and operations of Intersports digital media division, encompassing all of the company's broadband and mobile initiatives. He oversees Celeb.tv, a multi-platform entertainment news network, and four made-for-mobile networks developed and produced for Sprint exclusive entertainment. Again, I had an opportunity to visit his wonderful facility on Kinsey Street yesterday, Jason Coyle. Our next guest is the co-founder and president of 37 Signals, a privately held Chicago-based company committed to building the best web-based tools possible with the least number of features uh, necessary. He makes things simple, effective, and efficient for his clients, uh, Jason Freed. Also with us is uh, the chief creative officer of Kramer Castle. Uh, and is part of the team that has steered uh, the, the agency to becoming the third largest independent advertising agency in the country, garnering everything uh, from Epi's to Can Alliance Awards. As the chief creative officer, he's responsible for all elements of the creative efforts across all platforms, Marshall Ross. I would like to begin with a question that uh, is sort of near and dear, I think, to everyone's heart, and I want to ask you know, sort of a, uh, a loaded question at the top. I'm sure that if we, tr if we went to Phoenix or we went to uh, 
uh, you know, a number of other cities, Atlanta, uh, Denver, uh, there could be gatherings. Maybe not as large as this, maybe not as efficient and put together in nine weeks as this event has been, but my question to you to sort of open it up, and I'd like to start with you, Marshall. What's so special about Chicago? Why, in your view, is Chicago special? Why can Chicago step in and be the leadership center of new media when, uh, when it could really can happen anywhere? Why do you think it will happen here? Or do you think it will happen here? Well, I think it can happen here. I think it's not a given. I think it's not an organic right. But I think there, there's a couple things that really work in our favor. One, I'll quote one of my favorite people on earth. Uh, I don't know him personally, but Martin Scorsese, who loves to film here and says that Chicago is the country's most American city. And I think that that is, that is a very interesting sort of textural quality that we bring to this world. The second thing is um, the city. Uh, this city did a very smart thing a number of years ago by opening up the market to the cable companies and making that cable penetration happen. And because of that, our ability to, to use broadband uh, was pretty early on. And so I think there's a, there's a good infrastructure here that can help us. But I think it's this American-ness, the center of the country, this, this sort of chemical mix that we're able to use. We're able to take East Coast influences, West Coast influences, and sort of synthesize them into our own thing that a lot of people enjoy and are attracted to. Bill, do you buy that potential of the city? Is, the, is Chicago unique? Uh, I think it is unique. I think it's unique in its humility. Uh, I think there's a lot of great things going on here, and I don't think we uh, tub thump enough for what we do here, and I hope this is the beginning of this uh, on the new media front, but I think we're going to have to get over that humility uh, if we're going to get the Olympics here, and so uh, <laughs> no time like the present. Jason? Well, I think uh, Chicago is the best city in the world, so um, that seems like we have a pretty good shot at, at doing some great things here. Um, the, the thing that's great about this town is that people get things done here, you know? On the West Coast, people talk about stuff. On the East Coast, they, I don't know what they do. They get stuff done there too, but it's mainly in financial <laughs> stuff. In Chicago, people love getting things done, you know? People like to actually work here. It's not about building something to sell. It's not about building something to flip. It's about building something sustainable. And I think that's what's great about this town. I think the people here are great and the people here, we, you know, we have all the talent we need to, to really have a pretty big impact. But I also don't think that we need to always try and think that we need to be number one. Chicago has this inferiority, inferiority complex, like we're number two, so we gotta be number one. We just need to be comfortable with who we are, and then we'll be great. I think that's what's most important. 